Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here. Welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Spider-Man comparison video. Today we're going to be looking at all of the Vulture figures that we've ever gotten in the Marvel Super Heroes line of sets. And there's actually only three to date and it's kind of hard to display. <laughs> um, it's hard to display on a wall and it's hard to display when you're making a review of the three of them because two of them can stand on their own and the other can't and it's just anyways aesthetically I'm trying my best here and I apologize that you could see the tiles and everything normally you can't really see them as much as you are now but here they are and I do apologize but anyways without further ado let's go ahead and let's take a look at all of the vulture figures. Here is the first ever Vulture figure that we got in a Marvel superhero set, and it was a comic book, I guess, kind of based one. It was with Doc Ock and White Tiger and Spider-Man, and this is a really cool looking figure. And I just love Vulture as a comic book villain and an MCU villain, probably one of my favorites. And I was so happy to finally get him and to finally get a new villain because we kept getting Doc Ock and and Green Goblin and whatever, so it was nice to finally get a new character as well. Really interesting looking figure. In the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, he had like the Shakespeare sort of uh, neck attachment there, which I think would look really cool instead of having it printed. But uh, unfortunately it won't really work because it is printed, but I think that this figure overall looks really cool. Very comic accurate, I'd say. He's using the Pharaoh's Quest wings there that Falcon uses as well, so it's cool to see them being used here. This is more of a comic book based version of him because you could tell from the feathered wings rather than mechanical like the other two that we'll look at. The face print here is really cool as well. It's really detailed and I like that they even gave him some back head printing which looks really cool. Taking the wings off you could see that he's got some more back printing as well which is just looks really good carried over from the front. Really cool looking figure I have to say. Next we got the MCU Vulture and this is really interesting because it is just, it's so huge, the biggest Vulture out of all of them. And it is really interesting, it's, it's such a big build, it, it looks really cool. There's a lot of articulation on the wings here, I gotta hold him because he's gonna fall off, but you can move that there. You can angle this if you wanted to a little bit. The back thrusters can rotate like that. You've got a stud shooter there and you can spin it around as well just to give a bit of a different look at the back thrusters. You can see there are two stickers on those slopes and like a thruster there as well. And it's just a really interesting looking figure and if you can, you can easily take this wings off like that. And let's take a closer look at the figure. Well here he is now and this is the MCU version of Vulture without the wings. And this is actually the only one I forgot to mention. He can't stand unless he has like something to stand on. Or you can angle him, like tip him with the wings. The other ones can stand by themselves, but he cannot unfortunately. So kind of a uh, disadvantage I'd say to this figure. but. It's a good looking figure, I, I've got to say, I like the helmet here. I think it actually does work pretty well for the Vulture from the MCU using this Invincible Iron Man helmet and I just, I don't know, it depends on the, what angle. From the front it looks good, from the angle there it looks really flat and I could have used maybe a new piece or something but I know, they're pretty lazy with Marvel superheroes. Taking off the helmet there you could see that it's just the same face from before. This doesn't look anything like Michael Keaton, and I kind of think that Marvel superheroes, especially when it comes to the Spider-Man movies, they kind of just, I don't know, they don't put a lot of effort into the accuracy of face prints or consistency of them. So while this is the Vulture, and it's only ever been used for the Vulture, it just doesn't really look like him. He's not this old, I'd say, um, but it's a good looking figure other than that can see that there's some really cool back printing there as well which is just carried over from the front. I really like this version of the Vulture with the torso at least and of course from the MCU but I don't know it's just the face kind of doesn't really do it for me and the wings are just so bulky and huge that it just topples over while it's pretty accurate it's just wish that it could stand on its own like this next one. This is this year's version of the Vulture and it is probably my favorite I think. It looks really cool. I'm not a too big a fan of the outfit, but I really like the wings here. I prefer these wings to the MCU one. 
if you hold it down you can you can't really angle them like the other one so there's not too much posability you can angle them like this um, and like that I guess but it, it, it it's I think it's better because it can stand the other one can't stand on its own it always falls over this you can have him actually standing and angling the wings and everything to help with that and just a better look at the back there. It's pretty colorful. So this is kind of like a comic book version. It reminds me of the PS4 one, kind of. I don't know. Maybe that's why they did it with the robotic wings instead of the feathered one. But it looks pretty cool. I like the vents there. The 2x2 two two circular tiles with the hole in it. I always like getting those pieces. And it's cool to see them being used here. But let's take a closer look at the figure. Well, here is the version from this past year. And it looks really cool. Really detailed. And I think it just works really well. And I like that you can kind of feel the comic book version and sort of the MCU version with the mechanicalness and everything and the high-tech suit. It just looks really cool. Such a cool looking vulture. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty detailed. I like the green highlights on the dark green. It really adds to this figure. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is every vulture ever released to date. I really like them all. I think that they're, it's a really cool and classic Spider-Man villain, and I'm happy that we've actually been able to get three versions of him. While I would have preferred that it wasn't Vulture in the latest line of sets and maybe someone new, it's still really cool to get. Again, it, it, he looks really cool, and I think the wings there is just, it's kind of, it's just a bit of an upgrade, I think, to the other one with the stickers and everything on them. And just, I like that it can stand. I really don't like that the other one is just so big and bulky that it always tips over. And it's hanging below his feet, so you can't even angle the wings to make it stand above his feet so that it can have him stand. But anyways, what do you think of these three vultures? Again, my personal favorite is probably the comic book one, just because it's it's iconic. And I don't know, I really prefer that one because it was the first one as well. But anyways, everyone, I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. And I hope that you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.